how do you make bullion knots well these let me warn you once you've mastered this you will become addicted trust me <coughs> now i work bullion knots with a milner's needle milner's needles i'll put it on there are generally quite long and the advantage of those is that the eye is the same width as the point okay they're the same width all the way up like a normal embroidery needle if i get you one out here the eye is bigger than the tip so it makes it harder to pull it through at the end i mean they are doable with normal needles don't get me wrong lots of people do them with normal needles you just have to get the tension of your wrapping correct so that it pulls through easily but the easiest way is with a milliner's needle long thin equal size all the way up we've got a sharp point okay so i'm threaded here with green cotton abroader and i've got a knot in the end now i've got my cloth in a hoop this is just plain cotton 100 percent white cotton and I always work in a hoop when I'm doing hand embroidery um, simply because it holds the cloth firm a, a good tension it stops ruching and crumpling up and it makes your stitches lie so much more beautifully flat okay now after I've hand embroidered anything I, I do damp stretch and um, you probably know that if you've been visiting this block for a while I do damp stretch even though I work in a hoop I still have to damp stretch so if you think working in a hoop negates the need to damp stretch in my opinion it doesn't okay so you just come up any point where you want you not to be we'll call that a okay then you go down to the right of a depending on how big you want your bullion not to be okay so i'm going to go perhaps half an inch okay and i'll have a half inch bullion knot then so from a to b is half an inch my needle's in at b i bring it back up at a and I don't take it out of the cloth, I leave it like that, okay. Then I just put my thumb under the needle to raise it up, and I get this thread here, the thread that's at A, okay, and I wrap round, and I'm going to wrap round about eight times, and this should give me a flat knot, okay. So I'll do that, I won't count out loud, I'll just do it. So I've wrapped round about eight times. So I just push those wraps down with my thumb, so the touch in the cloth at A and then I hold on to them and I pull my needle through and that thread that I'm pulling through is forming a core within those wraps okay they're there now so you just pull your needle back towards B and put it back in at B and all those wraps sit on that core on top of your cloth okay in theory now I don't think perhaps there's enough wraps on there but that's a personal choice. That's a flat bullion knot. I'll do another one. I might wrap ten times this time, make it a little bit fatter. Up at A, down at B, bring my needle through again at A, but don't pull it out of the cloth. Okay. Wrap round. I'll do it ten, I think. Right. Push them down. Pull my needle through while hanging on. And then take it back to the right towards B and put it down in at B. Now if you did one of my classes you'd get a PDF for this. Um, but for now it's just a demonstration on here for the purposes of my blog. So that's a flat bullion knot and they are beautiful and they have their place in all kinds of embroidery. But you'll know if you're an embroiderer that you adapt things, you get a likeness for a certain, a favouritism for a certain way or another way, you know. So I like to overwrap. I like the big loopy ones. So I'll show you how I do that. And it's literally the same, up at A, down at B. Bring my needle back up at A, but don't take it through the cloth. And then what I like to do is I wrap about 30 times. And that gives me the massive loopy knots that I love so much. So I'm going to wrap this round and I'm not going to count. So I'm just out loud. I'm just going to do it. And when you're doing this with a lot of wraps, keep pushing it down so you can fit them on the needle. I'm at 14 now. Push it down again. That's 25, and you can see my needle's getting full. There, okay. Now, when you've got a lot of wraps like that, it's really important to hold on to them at the top so they don't come off when you pull this needle through. So, I'll pull it through just exactly the same way, take it back in at B, 
And be careful that the thread doesn't loop over halfway down the, the coil. Work that down with my needle. Pull it through and there's one of those massive stand up loopy bullion knots that I love so much. Okay, so I'll do another one of those. I like to cross these over. They look nice like in a tangled kind of web kind of thing. So I'll do 30 again. So I went up at A, down at B, back up at A but didn't take my needle out. That's 10. Oh, 12. 20. 26. There, 30. So pull them down again. Pull that core through. Make sure the push back onto the thread. Back down at B and pull it through. And there you've got two crossed over loopy bullion knots. Okay, I won't do any more because you know you've seen it. And if you want to know again, just come back and watch this again. This will stay on here. So there you have bullion knots. Okay, I hope you get to do them. I hope you you know you can figure that out and because they you know they give me a lot of pleasure and I think you'd really like to add them to your work if you've never been able to do them before.